Hello, welcome back. So, we're back at Newcastle Airport now and we're about to embark on our big adventure to um, Kuala Lumpur and Malaysia. So, it's probably going to be quite a voyage of discovery because we're discovering two new countries. We've never been to these countries before. I think we'll probably learn a little bit about ourselves and probably each other, <laughs> which might not be a good thing. But it's certainly going to be a hell of an adventure. In this episode, what we're going to show you is we're going to do something a little bit different. So we're doing my normal travel day. But my dad's booked us into the Aspire Lounge. So we're going to show you what that's like within the airport. So thanks to my dad for that. We're flying with Emirates, so we're going to do a little review of the flight. So we're going to tell you what the service is like on the flight, what the food's like, what the in-flight entertainment, legroom, all that kind of stuff. So you get an idea of what these kind of flights are like. We're going to get ourselves in, get our bags checked in. So on an excitement level of one to five jatties, where would you rate yourself? Oh, six. Six? <laughs> six? That's a new one. Six, six out of five. Right, shall we get going then? <coughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. The first part of our trip sees us head to Malaysia and the capital of the country, Kuala Lumpur. We'll be leaving from Newcastle, taking the seven hour flight direct to Dubai. We'll have a three hour layover in Dubai before heading to the Malaysian capital on another seven hour flight in the country of Malaysia. Okay, well bags are checked in, we've got our money, security was fine, it was pretty quiet today wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, got through it pretty good. quick. Yeah. Um, so this is the Aspire Lounge, so this is separate to like the rest of the departure stuff. So it's a bit quieter in here and obviously you get your food and drink in with that. So we're going to go in, we'll show you what it's like and what you get in here. Part of the lounge you get food, so what better place to start than with a jetty food review? Mm -hmm. How's your jersey? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got a bun with it. <laughs> that scrambled egg you got with it. Not so fussed on the egg. This is what it tastes like. Hanger cheeks. Like big egg. Beans are nice. Yeah, beans are spot on. Um, Bacon's alright. Mine's quite crispy, so I know, that's... I don't really like this bacon. But I'm hungry. Bacon tastes good. Yeah, it's a bit too crispy for me, but it's fine. Are you a hash brown yet? No, I'm just going to have one now. When I finish eating meat, chili bacon. 
<laughs> Tiny little hash browns. Oh yeah, they're good. No, Oh yeah, bread. Tiger. <laughs> Wash it down with. Tiger, biscuits and tea. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> Set you up for your long trip. You bloody gun at you. <laughs> so that's the Aspire Lounge. What did you think of the Aspire Lounge, Jacqueline? Um, it's alright. Worth the money? Yeah, probably is to be fair. By the time you pay the airport prices, we've had a couple of beers, we've had two English breakfasts. I mean, if there's plenty of food there to be fair. Like yeah. the last time we came when we went to Thailand in 2016 for our honeymoon, I think I seen like two sausage sandwiches and they were like dead crusty yes, and there wasn't work. Much fun yeah. there. Whereas this time, um, when the food's gone off, there's more food come out. So every time I've gone back, there's something being refreshed. Like I say, the drinks are free. There's a good range of wines and spirits, beers, um, teas, coffees, there's biscuits. So now we've gone from the breakfast to lunchtime. So they've had the soup, there's a, a, a potato and leek soup. Um, there's a tomato and basil pasta and a chicken and the creamy bake as well so obviously Jackie had a scone there I missed that before but there seems to be plenty here and like I say we probably it's haven't plenty, yeah. we haven't had the chance to make the most of it because I had to swap my drone around and put it in my me, me baggage and everything which usually I put it in my hand luggage but they made us put it in my um, me hold bag um, take the batteries out and put that in my hand luggage so that's been a bit different so that took a bit of time to mess on with security was fine but I say we'll probably haven't gotten the most of it because we we'll had to get more money and everything as well but it's been all right it's a bit of a change um, to what you usually get like upstairs where you're in with the crowds and yeah you have no yeah. waiting queues to get stuck so go help yourself but it's almost time to go down for our flight so how many jetties out of five are you going to give a spire lounge um, three and a half three and a half right? No. I thought you were going to give it less than that. So. Yeah, I was thinking three. <coughs> but um, right, we're just going to finish these and head for off flight. We're on my way. We're on my way. So there's, there's plenty of leg room, I'm um, six foot and I can stretch out a bit so that's pretty good and this is just an economy. Big screen in front of her, get a pillar and a blanket and it's total difference to getting on to a flight to Spain or Greece but uh, yeah impressive so far. How many jetties out of five so far Jetty? Oh. I'm going to give an analysis, Jackie. What we've we'll got? Okay. Yeah. USB. Mm -hmm. Strong. <laughs> that, that'll be for your headphones. For my headphones that I do not possess. Um, nice big screen, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, screen. Got a little controller here. Tray. Um, tray. Is that coming out? Yeah. That's the... Oh yeah, for sure. I've got a little cup holder. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I mean, it's a little bit down there somewhere. Oh no, it's got a thing. Yeah. Okay. Falls out. Falls yeah. out. Menu. Oh no, safety instructions. Sorry. No, that's, sorry. A, that's a menu of your safety instructions. A menu of your safety instructions. So, what are you going to have off the safety instructions menu? Oh, we'll oh I think I'll have an evacuation chair. <laughs> In flight magazine. 
quite thick, isn't it? Yeah. You've got a headrest as well. Headrest you can adjust to your head. <laughs> Thank you. 
been served a lemon cake, some kind of cheese pastry, which didn't expect it so soon. Every time you ring the bell, you can get a drink or whatever, so the service has been pretty good. And a couple of times it rang, it's waited a while, but it's been because well, we've had, it's been quite busy. Yeah, but yeah, but they were doing the food. Um, yeah, as soon as we pressed it, she was here. Yeah, well, I don't think, I think yeah, finger had just left the book. And it was, she was here. Yeah. So far, hardly any complaints. Pretty good so far. So, yeah, it's gone over really quick. And I've not really watched anything on the entertainment system. The only disappointment is the games aren't working. I'm trying to get the games to work on the entertainment. I'm going to play a game before, but it's, nothing's happened. So I'm just watching the film now. But it's passing the time. But yeah. Yeah, I've watched it when I wanted to get Yeah, it's been good so far. So good stuff. Jack is trying the um, cheese paste. It's like a cheese pack. the lounge we've had more food and now we've got this so yeah we've only got, I know, we're just, we're just eating it for eating sake but we're only two and a half hours from Dubai now Bye. Stage one complete. We've made it to Dubai in one piece. Well, I've got chewing gum on my bloody pants from some dirty get to bloody left the chewing gum on a bloody under the arm of the seat. If you've ever been to Dubai, you've got to go through another security process. I'm not sure why, because you've only been on a flight, you haven't gone anywhere else. So we're just heading through there now. So we'll see you when we get through security. How much was that pint, Charlie? Oh, what? How much? Oh, it's teeth. What was it? A Budweiser as well. In the Budweiser bar. Yeah. Twelve pound. Actually, that's cheaper than the last time. It was twelve pound fifty for a pint of Heineken last time, were yeah. yeah, Dubai is huge. It's a massive airport, isn't it? It took us about half an hour to walk from security to the Budweiser bar so it's an absolutely massive place but I suppose it is the main hub for Emirates Airlines so we've been here before in 2016 but I cannot remember it being quite as big as this and the layout's totally different to what I remember it uh, we're about to board our flight now for Kuala Lumpur which is the second part of our flight what time is it now? 
ten past two in the morning here. I'm starting to feel really tired actually. Yeah, ten past two. Yeah, ten past two in the morning. I'm, I'm knackered. So we might try and get some sleep on the next flight. On the red eye, yeah. It's, we're on the red eye, so um, <coughs> you might not see that much on this flight, but. No, we'll get like a sandwich first and then we'll get a breakfast get in the morning. Breakfast. So we'll we'll show you what kind of what the food's like on this flight as well. Oh, I'm still full from And out. <laughs> Aye, really full from the uh, and then got quite a few drinks on the last plane, didn't we as well? So it's all been good so far, it's run quite smoothly. Um but anyway we're gonna head down to our gate and then we'll see you on board. So another thing to mention, if you stop over in Dubai, you got like a long layover. It's like um, it's like sleeping pods and stuff here. Yeah. Place you can go. It's like a bit of a lounge. I think you've got to pay by the half hour. I'm sure I read that. I'm sure there's a swimming pool somewhere. So I didn't pack my cosy, so I can't go. I, mean, I could have gone for a swim in my boxes. Oh, but I don't know if I would have. Well, uh, <laughs> but, yeah. So there's somewhere you can go. I'm sure it's in a hotel or something. It might be like one of the transit hotels. So if you've got like. I'm sure if you've got over eight hours wait, you can actually do a tour out of Dubai as well. Part of the airport and then they'll bring you back and then you go back through. But obviously we're only here for a couple hours and actually the time's gone pretty quick to be fair. So um, anyway, we're just waiting the board so we'll, we'll see you on there.
Kevin, hurry up, Kia, to open doors. Uh, yeah, I noticed. It seemed to have taken ages to start moving to get off the plane. But we're on my way now, so we am going to get myself through passport control. Thank you. We have arrived. Stretch those legs. Could be like two big sausages. After that. Let's just hope the wait's not too long at passport control because just want to get through now. Little red eyes and everything. I've got a puffy face. Got puffy eyes. Puffy hat. <laughs> puffy legs, puffy face. I think my eyeballs are puffy. And that. Oh. But that, that second flight was, um, was pretty good. I felt the level of service was probably a bit better. On that one, did you not? No. no? Um, the food wasn't as good on the second one. Didn't get choices? No, didn't get choices because when you get the menu, if you go on the app, usually um, you've got a choice of two, which we did on the first flight. And the two we got with the two I would have Not had, <laughs> Uh, the sandwich was like weird. I think it was like a falafel sandwich, wasn't it? On the menu, you got the choice of turkey. I think it was like smoked grilled turkey or that falafel sandwich, and that's all we got. And then for breakfast, we got noodles, but there was a breakfast on the menu that we'd seen. We never got offered it. Uh, it was like an omelet, but never mind. Um, to be fair, I wasn't particularly hungry anyway. Um, well, thankfully, the first flight was good. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But the second one was definitely clean. I felt the plane was much bigger. Yeah, it was an absolute was bigger, beast, yeah. wasn't it? Um, but it was a good flight. It was pretty smooth. At least we got a little bit of sleep because then it just made the flight go a bit quicker. So I woke up and we only had like it's about two and a half hours to go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jay's yeah, going to get on the bog. Remember what? Remember to pose your arse. Oh, somebody. <laughs> Somebody opened the door in there yeah. and the water was squished out the door. It's like bullet train. <laughs> this airport's huge as well. I know, I'm going to be walking by ages. It's just like, well. Uh, well, getting a little bit lost as well, but it just seems to be going on forever to get the uh, passport control, yeah. yeah. It's huge. It's like one long corridor. It's like going back there. <laughs> It's not great if we're lost already. I haven't even left the airport. It'd be like Tom Hanks in the lost terminal. In the I think we could have walked into Kuala Lumpur already. The amount of time it's taken. And the city's an hour from the airport, so I think we could have walked there. What's that? Free beer? Lychee. Ooh, lychee. Thank you. Free drinks. Lychee. Yeah, first rating out of five, and um, oh, lychee drink. Never had a lychee. Okay. That was a nice little touch. On arrival, free lychee drink. Oh, bloody hell! Immigration. Christ, <laughs> uh, looks like now we've got to get a bus to immigration. <laughs> My god, this is uh, this is something this is different, isn't it? <laughs> Why didn't they pick up on the bus off the plane? <laughs> the heat, it it really hits you when you get off there. Come out of the airport, uh, we'll just wax you in the face. Like an oven. But we expect that from these countries. And now we're going to get a bus ride probably back to where we've come from. <laughs> you know, so we've had a walk from one side of the airport to the other. So where the hell immigration is God knows. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how long this takes. So we figured out the reason we're getting the bus. It's because there's an aero train connecting from the terminal we've arrived at. That's suspended today. So that's why we're on this bus. But it turned around, we thought we are going to get dropped off at the door again. Well, we're just getting on the bus. But yeah, it must be taken one of the main terminals. So it's a little adventure in itself, isn't it, Jack? So the queue's friggin' huge. And the guy who's 
work and just said it's about an hour. <laughs> Not what we need. Just want to get out. What, what can you do? So we're going to have to queue here. It's just snaking around everywhere here. So uh, we're stuck here for a while. It looks as if it's been 3,000 flights in at the same time. I think. Yeah. So that was about 45 minutes maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so not quite the hour, but still a bit of a wait. I think I can see what bags, yeah, so at least we can pick them straight up on the way past. Yeah, they are. Will they get dizzy? I think that's mine, is it? Oh, it's not. Okay, so if you're wanting a SIM card, just a tourist SIM when you come to Malaysia, when you come out with your arrivals, if you turn left, there's a couple of desks here, so we're just going to get a couple, we're only here for a couple of days, but just so we can keep in touch with people at home and what have you, so apparently one of the best ones is called Hotlink, but that's cash only, there's another one called Tune Talk, so we're just going to kind of decide which one's which, Tune Talk's here, oh Hotlink's is right next to it, so there's Tune Talk and Hotlink's right next door, so Hotlink apparently is cash only, and I think Tune taught you must be able to play on cards. SIM cards, £4.25 for three days. That's three megabytes, but we only need them for three days, obviously, because I'm not bothered about the higher speed internet, just to keep in touch with people one might get. Um, we'll be getting one when we get to Vietnam as well, but we'll show you when we get there, because we'll probably get higher speed when we're there, maybe, because we'll probably be doing a bit more stuff there. But we've just booked a taxi on Grab. So from here in Kuala Lumpur, I think it takes about 45 minutes to an hour. And um, it costs 12 pounds and one penny. So that's not too bad if you think that's six pounds per person. And considering the length. And you said the Express, is that the bus? Um, yeah, the Express. The Express bus costs 70. So that's like another, yeah. another quid or two on top. So it's actually cheaper to get a Grab. So and we're just waiting for him to turn up anyway and uh, we'll make our way into the city. Feeling that heat. Didn't think it was that hot when we come out, but my god, it's um, it's humid, which is exactly what I expected when I got here. There's not much breeze or anything, but uh, yeah. It's a far cry from home when it was bloody freezing and it's due to snow. So I'll take this any day over the snow. Just waiting on my driver anyway, it shouldn't be long. So eventually, Found my taxi. We're on the wrong level. On the wrong level. <laughs> and then couldn't just couldn't find them. We got there in the end. Took about 20 odd minutes. But well, I'm absolutely sweating. I've had a run and <laughs> put a trolley back. So anyway, we're on our way now. close this one off now um, so don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video we're knackered <laughs> um, it's red hot so yeah it is isn't it you get out of that taxi and it just it hits you straight away but 
we're just looking right at the KL Tower from where we are so the views are going to be pretty spectacular from here but in the next episode we'll show you around where we're staying we'll show you what it's got to offer around here and we'll give you our first impressions of Kuala Lumpur so we'll see you in the next one see you soon bye Next time on Continental Coxons. Good morning, everybody. We can explore some of the city today. What you got there? We got some crocodile. <laughs>